Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Spice Couch today I went into the Antiques Market in Bromley on Thursday and I picked up this for £1, Ranger, the National Boys magazine. But obviously I've got it because of this Concorde, BOAC Concorde, a rocket powered Concorde, judging by that thrust. And if you look very carefully, it is the original cockpit configuration um, that we do see on the prototype but was then amended to the classic Concorde that went into service. So yes, so lots of things in here that's interesting. It's very much of its size. It is from June 1966, so just before England won the World Cup. And you see this, Sink the Scharnhorst. Great artwork there. Space Cadet. Jason and his chums land on a perilous planet in the middle of a convict's war. So it's very much that Dan Dare style. You see down at the bottom there, it looks like he's up against a caveman, which is the sort of thing that happens all the time. Barbarians versus high tech, and the barbarians win. Well, the barbarians always win. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Fight to the Death, Hold Up and Cougar Canyon, continuing our fast moving series of cowboys in the Argentine. The Black Arrow. I assume this is some sort of Robin Hood type thing. I don't remember this series particularly, but it's definitely set in the Middle Ages. Yeah, here's a bit about football. What's this? Uh, Bobby Moore's World Cup special. <laughs> Italy could do it. Portugal's hopes are high. <laughs> Alan Quartermain by Sir Henry Ryder Haggard. I'm sure this is full of terrible stereotypes where they're all fighting to the death on the stairway. It's like the Trigon Empire. Rob Riley, all about speedboats and stuff like that. Another one I don't remember. But this kind of, imagine old Modesty Blaze type of um, drawing. I did enjoy that cartoon, the um, comic strip. Is it the end of the line for the Isle of Man Railway? <laughs> what, 54 years on? I expect there are no railways in it. Ah, Rodney Stone by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And it's full of bare-chested young men getting physical with each other. Look at this panel down here. I think there's some serious repression going on. Asterix the Gaul, Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. But they're getting beaten by the French. Flying with the RAF. There's the uh, Harrier there at the top. Ah. Now, the reason that this was on the cover, as you can probably, does it say? Yeah, Re build your own model of the Concorde. And here it is. This is not overly complicated at all. <laughs> this bit, you've got to fold the engine boxes. You've got to do something for the undercarriage. You've got to use an elastic band. It's like, what? <laughs> and what is interesting, though, is the depiction of the cockpit section there. And obviously the nose is not as pointed as it actually is. And the back here is a lot more pointed as well, which is depicted far better actually in this. But yes, fascinating. It reminds you of things about. I guess they were better at doing those sorts of things back then, um, building models out of paper. What's this? The island that exploded. And the Philippines, far away places. The banging butter boys, the sleep speeches of cigars, cars. Telephone lines under the sea. This is one of those uh, cable laying ships. Fascinating cutaways. You see uh, the sort of thing in a lot of these magazines. And Flight International, um, which I've got a bunch of old copies of, um, they would always have cutaways of, like, say, the MV11 or the A330, planes which were new into service when I got those magazines. So they're about 30 odd years. <laughs> ah, 
And this is an unexpected bonus that I did not know was in here when I picked this up. The Rise and Fall of the Trigon Empire. But I recognise this comic strip. It is in the volume that I've got. This is the aliens who are telepathically um, controlling the Trigons and making them all commit suicide and fight each other like I said in the past. They're always fighting each other, getting overthrown, sold into slavery, escaping betrayals, all sorts of stuff. I think there's at least three alien invasions that I can think of just in that first volume. But it's a great series. I do love it for all of its flaws. But then we have at the very end just some other little bits here. Can't not strip. Spot the ship. Guess what ship that is. And then at the back, Marlborough the Magnificent. So yes, a real blast from the past. Um, 1966, the World Cup, yeah, prior, just prior to it. And that one about, um, prior to winning it, sorry. The one about Jason and his chums on the convict planet, or wherever it was. Um, they have found a time capsule from the year 1966 with all its precious relics inside. So that's like a little backdrop in that backstory. But yes, loved the cover, which is why I got it. But some real gems in here. Haven't gone through all of them yet, but I have gone on some. Um, definitely from a different era, perhaps a more gentler era. But certainly it does play up to a lot of stereotypes of the time. But yes, Ranger, the National Boys magazine. Build your own Concord if you can. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestions what kind of topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.